Yo, what up everyone, Metro Drive. Today we're talking about cutting the dead weight. And I'm actually just doing, just updating some lighting because my dark is, my garage is dark and dingy. And they've got these 60, I don't even know, 40 pound fixtures that with some candlelight coming out of them and I'm swapping them out with something that is five times as bright and half as light. And so the forget the fact and the headaches I'm coming through to, to swap out and what they had to anchor it and all of the extra fasteners they had to hold that dead weight, it was inefficient. This translates very well. I see a lot of people, self-included sometimes, we cling on to something because that's the way we've always done it or that's the way it's always been or Aunt Marie would kill me if we changed it. Clinging to the past, in fact, I have a rule, if if your answer is that's the way we've always done it and you can't quanti- you can't give me a quantifiable reason, that sounds like a good reason to update that policy or that procedure or that practice or tradition or what have you, um, largely speaking. So what is there? This could be habits, poor habits we talked about yesterday. This could be people in your life that are just clinging you down. They've always been around. They're your boy. They're your girl. You grew up with them. But they're dragging you down. They're inefficient. You're not seeking the same goals anymore. At what point do you need to cut that dead weight loose so that you can uh, so that you can move forward? I can't make that choice for you. But a lot of people they don't even they thinking about that topic. They're like, ah, I just that's too much. I can't. And it's scary because as humans, we're creatures of habit. We like things consistently day in and day out. And change is scary because change means the unknown and the unknown means mm, it's kind of, it's kind of scary. So what I can tell you is I've done this enough times now that it's only, it's much scarier in thought than it is in practice and swapping out your circle, swapping out maybe things that you did and you don't want to do anymore for the longest time. And this is just me. I know a lot of people think it's therapeutic. I cut grass. I don't want to cut grass anymore. Now I pay somebody to cut my grass because I hate doing that. Okay? That's a, that's a silly mundane example. But are you at a job that you absolutely hate? Is it dragging you down, making you miserable so that you're miserable when you come home and affecting your mental health and you drink yourself into a coma or uh, do a, a lot of other unhealthy activities that, uh, that are not conducive to a long, healthy lifestyle? I can't answer that for you either, but these are just examples. What's dragging you down? Where are the inefficiencies? And how can you replace them? Guys, I'm Coach David with Metro Jiu-Jitsu. As always, I look forward to seeing you on the mats.